Has this ever happened to you? A hyperlapse you have captured, but it looks like sh Worry you shall not, because in this video I will show you how you can turn your shaky hyperlapse into a beautiful and smooth hyperlapse. As I already said, let's do some hyperlapse stabilization. It's very easy to do, all you need is some Premiere Pro and After Effects. By the way, do you like my hoodie? We have our hyperlapse right here, our shaky hyperlapse. It's basically a bunch of photos placed next to each other. Every photo is one frame long, so each frame a photo. So what you want to do is, so this is basically just straight out of camera, straight out of your drone a high, or a camera, whatever you have, just straight out of camera photos. Um, you want to do is nest, nest this sequence. So now we have this nested one block of video, uh, that's our hyperlapse. And uh, yeah, if we take a look at it, the computer cannot play it because the resolution is quite big, but it's uh, shaky. So we, will, we want to smooth things out. One way to do it is uh, you can add some warp stabilizer, but that will only smooth it just a little bit. If you want to have it smooth as butter, like in the, like in the beginning of the video I showed you, then right click and click on replace with After Effects composition. Now After Effects will open. All right, now we have our hyperlapse right here in After Effects in one beautiful sequence. And we can track motion. So you click on track motion, then you choose something that will be in the frame throughout the whole video. In this video, we have these chimneys. That's a pretty good trackable subject, but I already done have done it with the chimney and because this blue thing goes in the background, it's not a very good chimney to be tracking. So I will be tracking something else. I will be tracking this right here, this hole in the ceiling, uh, I mean roof. So let's place this thing over this hole. You want some high contrasty area. So let's, so this inner box is the box that uh, looks for the object and uh, the outer box is the area that the object can be seen in. So, uh, and also if you make these boxes bigger, it will take more resources of your computer to track it. So uh, let's just analyze forward press this play button and let's see how it goes. Oh, this is pretty all right. Wait, just let's pause it. I want to see what's happening. So, uh, all right, everything seems to be fine. Let's slightly increase this box because it's going out of frame. Now let's continue our stabilization. Wait, I need to see the box. All right, continue. Yeah, it seems to be doing a pretty good job. The chimney before was uh, a little disaster because <laughs> it uh, kept uh, losing the chimney because of those background things. And uh, that was messy. If, if your track loses the subject, you have to pause up oh, just like, just like right now. It lo lost the, the whole hole, it lost the hole. And let's go to a frame where it's in frame. It is, this is pretty much in frame. Now we should increase both of the boxes. Uh, I wish this would be in center, but I don't wanna move it because if you move the box, the uh, stabilization in the end will be messy. So if you lose the thing, just go back, increase or decrease the box but do not move it. If you will move it, it will mess things up. So let's track now. So you, you can see it's now slower because we have increased the size of the boxes, but now it actually can see the hole. Yes. All right, now we have the box in the shot at all times, as we can see. We can see the box travels with the hole. 
And now we, what we want to do is create a new layer, a new null object like this, a null object. All right, edit target. We have our null selected. So uh, now we can apply this track to this null object. So uh, X and Y, all right. And as we can see, the null object now is locked in at the point of the hole right here which is just what we want to get out of this whole thing. So now we shall create a new camera. And yes, the camera we shall create. Uh, all right. Next, what you want to do is uh, enable the 3D possibilities of the layer. And then what you want to do is cl click on this pick whip thing on the camera and uh, parent it to the null object. And now we should see some crazy things happen. As we can see, it's now tracked. It's now perfectly stable and bam, as smooth as butter hyperlapse. Now all you want to do is go to Premiere and uh, then we all you want to do is just scale this image to the size you want, uh, not, you, not the size you want, but to the size that the black bars won't show. So, and that's it. We have our, what's up? We have our smooth as butter hyperlapse. This is the best way how you can stabilize your shaky hyperlapse. Very easy to do. All you need is after Effects. I really recommend using Premiere and After Effects as these apps are amazing. I know a lot of people are saying good things about DaVinci, but uh, DaVinci is very good for color grading, but for other things, it's, it's good, but mm, I like Premiere and After Effects better. So you all you DaVinci people, you can shut your mouth I do have DaVinci, I have the full version, I just don't use it because I don't like it. It's, I, I, I enjoy Premiere and, and After Effects. Premiere and After Effects is amazing. You should try it. If you, don't, if you don't have it, you should check it out because you can do magic like this. So yeah, <laughs> that is how you can do an amazing hyperlapse even with the most shakiest footage you have. Just do some After Effects, do some After Effects things. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you were able to enjoy this video. If you did, you know what to do. And if you want to see more tutorials, um, flight tutorials, reviews about drones and other drone related content, be sure to you know what to do. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.